Kiora. We are happy that you are here to learn about Habra Highlights. The focus of this video is on the Guide Browsing feature. In this video, you will learn how to access the Guide Browsing feature in Highlights, how to set up a focus and filter Guide Browsing session and what it's useful for, and ideas and strategies for using the Guide Browsing feature in your classroom. Guide Browsing is a Highlights feature that allows you to curate an online learning experience for your learners, as well as keep them on task. You can limit learners' browsing access to just a few sites or give them more browsing freedom, but keep them from visiting particular sites. Guide Browsing is beneficial to learners because it helps their teachers create unique, engaging online lessons that are tailored to meet learners' individual interests. To access Guide Browsing, Navigate to app.hopera.com. Choose one of your classes. Click on the blue Guide Browsing button on the top right hand corner of your highlights page. A box will open with two options. Set up a focus session or set up a filter session. A focus session allows learners to access websites while a filter session prevents learners from accessing websites. You may notice that the past browsing sessions are listed below and are editable templates that you can use later. Focus sessions are great when you want to keep learners on a specific page or group of pages. For example, only allowing them to open a quiz you created with Google Forms. Focus sessions allow learners to browse specific websites or groups of websites. For example, allowing them to browse only National Geographic site for a project. If you choose to set up a focus session, you're able to set up up to 10 websites. You can establish how long the lesson will run for. It can be as few as five minutes or up to 180 minutes. Just be sure the session doesn't extend beyond your class time because it could interfere with other teacher sessions if they overlap. You can make the session for the whole class, specific learners, or specific groups. This is great for differentiation and individualized learning. Filter sessions are great for when learners are working on something more open-ended, where they need to exercise good digital citizenship but aren't quite ready to make 100% of the choices about the content that they consume online. If you decide to set up a filter session, you'll be able to enter up to 50 websites that learners are not allowed to access during the browsing session. You can establish how long you would like it to be, five minutes to 180 minutes, and then you can make the session for the whole class, individual students, or specific groups. And then when you're ready, press start session. You can also save this as a template for later. In this video, we learned how to access the guide browsing feature and highlights, how to set up a focus session, and how to set up a filter session and what they are useful for. You also learned some ideas and strategies to use with the guide browsing feature in your classroom. If you have any questions, please reach out to us in the Hopper community. Thanks for watching.